Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Cyber Security TV. As we all know, uh, cloud security is a big thing uh, nowadays and everyone is moving to the cloud. So cloud security is becoming very, very essential. And if you, if you know uh, what is the cloud security, how to do the pen testing, how to do the security configuration review and all those things, you will be on your on the top of the uh, demand and uh, there's just so many requirements out there for who knows uh how how the cloud security works so today we're gonna talk about uh the aws security of course we're gonna we'll start with the basics of what is the aws because some of you might not know uh the different terminologies of the aws uh, which we'll discuss and and gradually we'll move forward and and take it like an you know, advanced table like okay how to secure the ec2 how to do the encryption how to make sure the IAM policy are set up right way how to do uh s3 encryption bucket encryption and all those things so um in this episode our agenda is going to be pretty straightforward so we'll we'll talk about the route tables and the network access control list and uh, I'll, I'll show you a demo where to find the route tables how to configure those and where to find network access control list now the route table is similar to the routers uh, if you know that um, like a cisco routers or any other hardware routers which would help you to route the traffic so for example if you have a multiple subnets within your environment and when i say subnet let's assume you have a like you know multiple components or within the same network uh, then when the traffic like you know traffic wants to traverse between the different subnets how to direct like it's it's like a traffic cop uh, who who uh, like you know routes the traffic to the uh, appropriate location so that's what the uh, route table is uh, we'll define the set of rules and it's going to decide when uh, where the where, where to forward the traffic and uh, same uh, works for the incoming traffic as well uh, if the incoming traffic is destination to let's say 172.001, the route table will make sure okay it goes to the right subnet so uh, you know and also it works for the internet as well like if you want to send the traffic uh, from your internal network to the public internet then the route table is the one who will determine where to like you know forward the packets now the network access control list uh, you can imagine this as a firewall this is not exactly firewall, but this is similar to firewall because it kind of control the access uh, between the subnets and uh, like, you know, within the, uh, from the internal network to the internet as well. Uh, because not every traffic uh, should be allowed uh, to be uh, out go to the internet and not every traffic which is coming into the internal network should not be able to reach to your internal network so that's what the access network access control list do and uh, there is a way to configure and also aws provides with some default as mm, default lists and default route tables but we'll see like you know how it looks on aws so whenever if you are uh, doing a security configuration review this is something very very important that you want to do and also if you have seen like you know there's there there are several uh, incidents uh, real time incident which has happened like due to how uh, insecure configuration several millions of uh, customer data that has been leaked so uh, that's why this configuration are very very critical and you must know how to uh, where to find it and how to configure it so let's jump to our aws account and and see how it does <coughs> All right, so this is our uh, default VPC. Uh, if you look through our previous three episodes, you will be able to find we talked about the VPC and IAM and all those other things. So this is our VPC. And in the same menu, you can find the route tables. So when you click on it, uh, you will find, let me just, okay. So this is our route table ID and each route table is associated with the VPC. Now, of course, you could have a multiple VPC in your environment, but for simplicity of our demo, we'll just focus on this VPC, which ends with uh, 20 AE. Now you click on the routes and let's scroll down. So here you can see there are two routes uh, uh, available, one which is local. So this is our VPC uh, subnet range. So uh, this and the target is local. So when uh, traffic, or any packets uh, with the destination comes here the target is local so which will stay within our vpc and then uh, like you know the route table will route the traffic accordingly 
Uh, the second one is 0, 0, 0, 0. So with this destination, the target will be IGW and this is IGW stands for Internet Gateway. Of course, you can like, you know, this is just random number given by the AWS. But yeah, this is for Internet Gateway. So any traffic, for example, from your uh, network, if you have to access the Internet, then you need to uh, like, you know, access the Internet Gateway first and it will connect you to the Internet. And that again, we discussed in the previous video. So that's why uh, it will go to the internet gateway and then it, internet gateway will take it forward to wherever you want to go so for example google.com the internet gateway will resolve the ip and and do the uh, remaining work now if you notice like you know this internet gateway uh, is attached to our vpc but what if let's say if we detach from our vpc and now if you go back to our route tables if you go back to the route and you will see black hole and the reason is the route table will try so uh, if you type google.com from internal network the route table will just like you know forward you to the internet gateway but then internet gateway is not connected to vpc or like internet gateway is sorry disconnected uh, from the internet so the, the traffic cannot go to the internet just gonna uh, be at the internet gateway and like come back uh, without any information so that's why it says like you know black black hole um you can again if we let's say attach to the vpc you have to select the vpc in our case we only have one vpc so it's easier to select one now again go back to the route table and go to the routes and you'll see now you can also edit the routes so for example instead of 000 you can also add the routes so for example how you have multiple sub networks within the vpc then you can also create those destination and again this is all the system admin stuff uh, which they would do uh, your job as a security uh, con like you know security auditor or maybe a pen tester you need to make sure the uh, the take couple of examples of the routes from the architecture diagram and make sure it's configured right way into the aws now other thing we want to talk about the network access control list uh, which you can find under security and as i said this is similar to the firewall now uh, the next uh, uh, aws by default created six subnets uh, within our vpc again it's the same vpc uh, which ends with 20 ae and uh, here it also creates the inbound and the outbound rules uh, here as you can notice the rule is denoted by the number so number 100 uh, you can give any number so if you have to uh, like you know create a new rule you can create a new rule with the number you can edit the existing uh, rule the significant of this number is uh, the lower the number the uh, the higher the priority so for example if you have a uh, let's say same rule with two numbers 90 and 100 the 90 rule is going to uh, check first and if it matches the requirement that's going to get processed and all the remaining rules will be ignored so that's why uh, the rule number is uh, very important now for example let's let's edit this rule and what we want to do is we want to uh, oh before that let me give you some information so inbound rule is something the traffic coming into the subnets an outbound rule is traffic which is going or leaving the subnets, right? So, so now let's go ahead and edit the rules. And what we want to do is we want to allow uh, some uh, like, you know, admins or super admin people to connect to the our, uh, our internal network via SSH. And we can define the specific IP addresses here. Now for this demo, we are not going to change it, but then uh, when you're auditing, you want to make sure uh, the SS connection is not allowed anyone from the internet because right now anyone from the internet can do the SS connection and it says allow or deny, right? So if you save this one, now anyone uh, from this IP address can uh, SSH into our environment and all the other traffic, which is non-SSH will be denied by default we can do the same thing here so outbound rules uh, let's say from our subnet we only want to connect to the outbound using uh, um, let's see http connection 
and we want to allow that connection and all the other ports if anyone is trying to connect outside uh, from our subnet will be denied by default now if you create any new acl right so let's say aws demo we'll create the vpc we'll create one let's click on that and if you see the inbound rules there will be one rule created by default which is denied so uh, that's a that's a good uh, best practice or standard to follow so by default any new configuration should be denied any new connection or any new access should be denied and if you want to allow something then you can create a new rule or edit the existing rule but yeah by default it should be denied that's what aws does so that's that's really uh, good configuration and you also want to make sure when you are doing the configuration that only certain are allowed it's not the other way around so like you know by default you are not allowing all the traffic you are denying all the traffic and you are only allowing traffic that you trust the most so that's what the uh, acl and uh, route table is all about uh, make sure uh, when you are doing this pen testing you are review all the configuration and uh, that way you can able to find if there is any misconfiguration uh, with the aws account uh, that's all i had in mind uh, for this week of course as we go forward we'll we'll talk about some other terminologies of the aws which are relevant and then we'll also deep down and 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 talk about all the tools and techniques on how to do the con uh, a penetration testing for the cloud environment all right uh, thank you so much for your time and i'll see you guys next time